Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Dai Loop. I am a concept artist and illustrator. And for this video, I'm going to try things a little bit differently. Um, try a little bit less formal uh, video creation with this particular video, which I'm going to talk about is finding your golden goose. Now, I will explain that a little bit more pretty shortly here. So if you guys do enjoy this, please uh, subscribe, like, let me know what more you'd like to see in the future. Now, what I mentioned before as finding your golden goose, there is an old fairy tale that talks about a farmer who finds out he has a goose that lays golden eggs, which the moral at the end of the story is not to <laughs> murder the goose and hope to expect eggs inside of the goose that are golden. Um, instead, the moral is to have a golden goose that will continually lay you these golden eggs or these profitable assets if you will. In the subject of this matter it comes with artwork or in my focus as an artist you are looking for that item or that particular subject matter that people remember you for and they constantly come back for or in this case would be our golden eggs. Now, there are a couple different examples I'd like to pull up of different creatives just to explain kind of what I mean by this theory. And it's something that I, I've talked about or I've talked about with my friends that is something as an artist, as a creative, you want to do your best to go through your work and as you create new work or as you're creating new work, being able to identify what of these items end up becoming your golden geese. Now, as one of my first examples uh, for an artist, there is a very well-known artist that goes by the name Loish online. Um, I would say, identifiably, her golden goose happens to be the way that she creates her um, artwork, or I should say her golden eggs. Um, in one of her first art books, she talks about how she takes sketches further or forward into her final pieces to help give them that sense of life and give them that sense of movement and feeling in the final pieces which you can almost see that she defines uh, muscle groups or maybe the the fluid motion of the characters and for sure she's made an entire career out of that if not among other uh, creative works that she has done because that's definitely something that has stuck out with me in her work being able to see and identify particularly that asset now from a different creative perspective there is the director Wes Anderson a lot of his films I feel as one of his golden eggs is he's very meticulous about how he lays out a lot of scenes and how there's always a lot of detail and pieces in every one of his shots that you want to explore and you just want to get into and see but it's never the focus the focus is on a specific character doing a specific action or them going somewhere but there's always scenes laden with unique and interesting focuses but you don't settle on that and I feel that is a very another or <laughs> that is another good example of uh, golden eggs for that particular creative Another change in focus, or I'll use as one of my last examples um, in terms of musicians, is an old classic, uh, Sugar Ray. Now, if you go back and listen to one of their first albums, it sounds nothing like any of their other music. It almost seems like a whole album of a different genre. Now, that's not to say artists can't record all albums that are all a different genre or a different style but you can definitely tell they had created their one masterpiece fly which almost seemed to change how they created music going forward in that style and it caught people people love that style and they created many more singles that are kind of in that same casual rock setting and uh, it's really just interesting to see and to listen to that that first album, it, it's very enjoyable to hear the kind of change in tone and the change in pace of how they how they played. So I think that's a good combination, just a, an artist, a movie director, as well as a musician, just kind of a, a broad spectrum of seeing how people in different creative aspects or even in creative fields take on this 
theory of finding their golden goose and finding their, you know, laying their golden eggs. Now, in the case of person to person, or maybe in you particular, is trying to find your golden goose. With everything that you do, it's a matter of analyzing what you've created, getting feedback from your audience, or even looking back at yourself like, what was successful? What have people been drawn to that I've created? Um, I know personally there is a silly art piece I'd created for Inktober three years ago, I think at this point, and it was a silly pumpkin drawing that I just thought was funny, uh, a scarecrow and his legs had fallen off and he has a very concerned look on his face, but doing art shows, I can tell you hands down, I've seen people without a doubt look at that every single time. and. What was kind of just offhand to me, and I thought it was a quick, silly drawing, seems to be drawing the most attention. Now, I can tell you I am not an expert in the subject matter to the fact that I still haven't identified my golden goose. I don't know specifically what pieces draw people in more than others. I enjoy creating in a broad spectrum, but I can tell you there's not a particular thing that I have drawn repeatedly that has drawn a, a captivated audience like that pumpkin. Now, that being said, should I draw more silly cartoon uh, illustrations like that? Very well so. And that's something that you have to look at yourself with what you create or what you do to see, okay, is there a particular, you know, music track that people have really been drawn to or really enjoyed me making? Or perhaps, you know, is there a particular craft or, like, wood piece that you've made that people really enjoy, say it's a handle set for knives or it could be paperweights you never know it could be anything in your your spectrum of stuff that you make that could be unique and special to you and could be what you need to develop further and nurture because at the end of the day as creatives and as as people we need to thrive financially to be able to continue to bring stuff forward to our our clients our fans our people we care about that that care about what we do so make sure that you give yourself time to analyze and to nurture that what works versus that what doesn't to kind of bring things to a close i do realize again this is a little bit different than the kind of videos i normally create so i appreciate you guys uh, giving this a listen maybe see if it's something you want to see more of I will say thank you. I hope you enjoy the art being drawn in the background. Uh, and if there is anything further that I could develop, please let me know. I love to hear from you guys. Other than that, thank you very much for stopping in for another uh, episode on my show here. And uh, you guys have a good day.